It were attended ceremony was greeted with great performances from members of the gallant men and women of the armed forces of Liberia. The Liberian army is still trying to get up from its slumber in an attempt to cancel her bleak record to again gain the confidence of the Liberian people. The future appears brighter as the integrity of the air affairs gradually being appreciated by many Liberians, the keynote speaker terming the current army as the most qualified of all times. Today's armed forces of Liberia has evolved to become the most educated in our history with specialized skills in many disciplines. Our men and women in uniform reflect high quality and standards, integrity, loyalty, and commitment, not to any particular ethnic group, but to the nation. The Liberian foreign minister said unlike the past, when recruitment was done on travel lines, the current military is diversified. Today's armed forces contrast sharply with its predecessors. There are accounts of the Liberian military being used to mobilize labor forcefully. This was the era of the so-called Noko soldier. There are also accounts of the role the military played in the almost two-decade civil war. The military then was generally semi-literate and constituted along ethnic lines. For her part, the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Liberia, Ellen Johnson, said if President of Liberia undoubtedly expressed confidence in the ability of the AFL. As Commander-in-Chief, I have implicit confidence in the ability of our troops and security forces to effectively execute their duties in a post mill environment as evident by their level of preparedness. We must continue to work with them to strengthen our border control mechanisms and remain vigilant against the negatives that would affect the peace and stability of our nation and people. She said despite all the confidence we post in the army, the men and women in arms must remain committed in protecting the borders of Liberia in the face of global terrorism. Likewise, we must not waver to protect ourselves against extremism and the consequences of terrorism. Accordingly, we must be better informed and ensure effective coordination and preparedness between and among our military and civilian law enforcement agencies, any action that affect our peace, security, and stability. This mission in Liberia prepared to fold up in June this year. The tax of maintaining the security of the state is a top priority of the armed forces. The Armed Forces of Liberia Training Command has demonstrated its capacity to train our own Liberian military personnel and recently graduated 154 soldiers after completing their individual training as well as the advanced military training. Presently, we are carrying out a nationwide recruitment exercise within the matrix of preparations for on mill transition of security responsibilities. Variety of training and MOS qualifications as outlined in the, in the training strategy of the Armed Forces of Liberia have been further enhanced both at home and abroad. Well, these gallant men and women of the Armed Forces of Liberia as just Liberia future as it relates to securing the sovereignty of this country. This will be definitely, mathematically, the last Armed Forces Day celebration on the watch of the United Nations mission in Liberia. By June this year, Liberia will take full security of, of this country. And the Armed Forces of Liberia will be left with one of those responsibilities to protect the border sovereignty of this country. As you heard, this army is one of the most uh, professional army in the country's history. With the, best, uh, with the performance here today, there's no doubt that indeed the men and women that made up this division of Liberians are on top of their game in terms of providing security for the state. Moses Gazo, LMTV News, BT.